Eight seconds to come. Hey, come meet you up there. Did you win? What does that say? Merritt Driscoll, 50 doll hairs? Holy moly, good for a pair of boots from Baumgars. Good job, buddy. Good job, Merritt. Good work. How does it feel? Good. Winning feels good? Yeah. That's good. First time, see if I can win tomorrow on the sheet. Hope you can win tomorrow on a sheet? Yep. All right. Boot race. Good job. Finally started cutting hay. So, people that know what they're looking at can see that all this that's kind of wavy, this tall stuff, is cheap grass, and it's not a good weed. We're cutting it before it turns brown and goes to seed. That's the whole reason we're cutting right now. Pretty much, so last year we were in a drought. We didn't have much of a winter, so this spring we planted a bunch of silage oats into this alfalfa thinking that right after we planted we would spray roundup and because this is roundup ready alfalfa and it would all be clean and good to go we, the last thing we were expecting was a pile of rain and we planted these oats and it rained for like three or four days straight and then the oats got about four inches tall and we couldn't spray anymore this little pivot is right around 50 acres and then the big pivot's just about 200 acres. So, 200? Yeah, it's 190, 185, 190, so. We just finished up our outside passes. How many outside passes did we make? Four. All right, usually I make six, but this field has kind of a, a little bit of a gravel pit in it. So we made four outside passes, and now we're just gonna start going back and forth, back and forth until we're done. The four outside passes gives you enough room you can turn a rake around. It's pretty tight, but it gives you enough room to turn a rake around and get your baler turned around and everything. So now we're just going to be driving back and forth until we're done, huh? Yep. But I have a game, so we might not get it done today. You got a game at 6.30, but you got it, or at 6, but you got to be there by 5.30, huh? Just about done with this field. Nothing puts a mirror to sleep quite like an audio book in a long day in the wind drawer. Good luck waking him up. Gary, which knives are you in charge of? Tidy. Righty tidy. Righty tidy. Which knives are you in charge of? You can guess. Lucy. Lefty Lucy. 
we're replacing all the knives on this windrower. Since I forgot to do very much videos, here's the windrower. Difference between a windrow and a sickle. Windrowers have these knives that turn, almost like a lawnmower, where sickles go back and forth. These are rotaries, so they spin 1800 rotations a minute or something and cut cut the grass right here. So all these knives are held on just by one one nut and one bolt and they just drop out through that hole and you put new ones on. And Merritt and I went through a little bit of a gravel pit yesterday. So we're replacing hey, we're, we're replacing all of them. This is Gary's riding along with us today. We got two more two more turtles left to Two more turtles left to change, or three more, and then we'll get going, hey? Mm -hmm. All right. If anybody has any cool ideas on what to use those knives for, I always feel bad just throwing them all away. I think, really quick, I so everything... I got the KOA. Yeah. Everything from about right there forward is hydraulic driven. So here's the hydra hydraulic motor that runs this header. And these headers go left, left, right, left, left, and then the exact opposite on that side. So everything gets sucked to the middle, and then it goes through this conditioner and crimps the, crimps the hay as it goes through, help it dry faster, puts it in a nice little windrow. And then we'll come along and rake the two windrows. Once they're the right amount of moisture content, we'll rake two windrows into one. And then once it's dry, once that dries out, then we'll bail it up. These fellas didn't want to listen to an autobiography about Douglas MacArthur. So what are we listening to, fellas? Hank the cow dog. Hank the cow dog on Audible today. Should be good. What's up, what's up, YouTube world? It's hay in season. We had a bunch of cheat grass, we cut it, covered that already. Rinse, repeat. So I'm bailing today, went to a branding this morning, and uh, my dad raked for me all day. And I got home, and it's 90 degrees, and the wind's blowing out of the south at six trillion miles an hour. Windrows are still staying put for, for now, but uh, I was gonna just bail for a little while, but it turns out we're under a severe thunderstorm warning. And uh, I was hoping it was gonna miss us, and I still hope that it's gonna miss us. I really want it to miss us. However, it looks, uh, it looks pretty dark that way. It's, that's Lytle Creek over there, and very, very rarely do storms come down Lytle Creek and hit us. But when they do, they're always doozies. It's cooled down quite a bit. I'm just making as many bales as I can before the storm gets here. And I think. I'm okay on moisture on this stuff. When I jump to the other side of the pivot, I think it might be a little bit wet, not too bad, but I'm gonna push it. I'm not gonna stop until some rain falls or something. <laughs> I almost forgot to mention, there's no air conditioning in this tractor. And it is hot, hot, hot. Looking forward to uh, bailing tonight in the dark. Got behind the pivot bail. Got to move this pivot out of the way. And go, go to town on this. There's enough of a wind blowing as long as the storm misses us, which it looks like it did. As long as this wind blows, I think I'm gonna be able to bail all night and finish her up. And yes, that's Leafy Spurge. Well, I ran into some wet hay. So I'm done bailing for the day. I'm not gonna get to bail all night. I thought it was gonna be dry enough all the way through. It got really, really wet. So I'm gonna go park the baler, get into the pickup that has air conditioning. 
I'm just about to start cutting hay for today. Uh, Tate's already out bailing back behind me on the TL pivot. Um, so he's sweating it out in the tractor without air conditioning today. I thought I'd walk around really quick and show you guys kind of the morning startup routine or night startup routine if that's when I do it. Uh, this is our service trailer here. I've got air compressor, air hose, diesel. I usually keep five to 10 gallons of hydraulic oil and some engine oil. And then I've got a little toolbox back here with just the basic, the very most basic tools that I could maybe get me out of a pickle. And then, so I fuel this windrower up. This windrower, everything should have those. Our 1980s tractors don't have anything sweet like that. You just hook your transfer pump right up to the side of the windrower. You don't have to dig into the battery or hook up to the starter or anything. Well, I'll start, usually I start right here at the front when I'm greasing it. This front shield just picks up and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight grease zerks in here. Some, some still have the handy little stickers even. And then right up here on the lift arms, there's one, two, one underneath is three, four, five on right there. I don't know what we're at. I don't know what we're at total. I don't know. I've never kept track. And <clears throat> a couple here, and then a couple on the end disc on the other side. And I still have to crawl under there and flip the knives over. I put new knives on it yesterday, so they just need flipped over. You can use each side of uh, each side of each knife twice. There's two grease zerks in here, and then one underneath two, three, four right here. And then I just go to the back and get this little handful. And then the wheels and pop this side open. And there is the engine. As we're not big time farmers. That's the biggest engine on the ranch by far. Here's your engine air cleaner. I usually just kind of try to knock whatever dust I can out of that. This thing does a pretty good job of not getting dust into the filters. Not like the 1985 tractors. They seems like they get about every piece of dust you could possibly imagine in them. So that's about it. I already greased it. I just go around, grease everything, kind of check everything over, make sure there's no glaring problems. I don't think I had I emptied this diesel tank here, but I don't. it probably got me three-fourths of a tank or something. And we'll jump in and I guess I'll change these knives. Then we'll jump in and get going. I swiped my dad's drone today. So with any luck, I'll maybe fly the drone and get some video of Tate baling hay and some videos of cutting hay, if everything goes right. Knives are all changed, good to go. We're all greased up. Check the engine oil. Just changed it a couple days ago, so. Unless I had a major leak, we're good to go. Everything looks good. These little covers back on. Up the stairs, check our coolant. It's right at the bottom level of okay. Hydrostat oil, good to go. Got my dad's drone, my garbage sack. Jump into the space machine. Fanciest thing we have by far. Ooh. I left that cover open right down there. Go grab that. Get Deaky Baby. We're ready to rock and roll. Fingers crossed we don't have any problems.
Shambhala. Deep. Come on, buddy. Deep, come on, jump in. Come here. Jump in. Go ahead, jump in. Good boy. Good boy, Deep, baby. Rock and roll. Okay, so I got the windrow parked right where I'm about to start petting. All my maps were uh, that I'd made before were messed up for some reason. So I'm gonna make a new AB curve line, which basically just means it can go like in a partial circle. It's on this GPS and John Deere makes this green star. You can go straight lines, adaptive curves, AB curves. I don't know what all there is. I use straight lines and AB curves. So this one here I'm just going to name outside riser because there's a vent tube over here closest to where I'm starting at. So outside riser and then I'm just going to push this record and I'm going to cut as straight of a line as I can along to the other side of the pivot and then I will hit stop recording and save and I'll we'll pick up from there. Do it. My friend, I miss it. There ain't a day goes by without you on my mind. You didn't have to do it. The devil put you through it. We just got lost in way out of line. Every day 